Is there a different process for house hacking to provide the tax balance? Uh, house hacking first is when you own a property and you are renting the rooms. You are not renting the entire property, but you are renting, the property has three rooms and you live in one. You are renting two rooms, you receive income for that. And then it's like you share the house with, with the other tenants, but it's still your house, you live in that. And this is what is called house hacking. Now, for the depreciation of the house hacking, it is only the square footage of the rooms that you are renting. Mm -hmm. You cannot depreciate the entire house because you are not renting the entire house. Mm -hmm. It is only the, the places that are rented or are, you're renting and you receive income for that. And the concept is the same uh, that we uh, refer uh, before in terms of a streamlined depreciation uh, for example, streamlined depreciation, as we said in the, in the question number one, is the same. In this case, you have to divide the amount of the house into the square footage. So, for example, if each room is 250 square footage or square feet, uh, that will be 500, and you're renting two rooms, that will be 500 square, square feet. And your house is, let's say there is a thousand five hundred square foot a square feet. It means that a third of the property is, a, you can depreciate a third of the property because only a third, two hundred and fifty square feet plus two hundred and fifty square feet, that's, that's make up uh, five hundred square foot square feet. Mm -hmm. They are depreciated only. They are you are only making income for five hundred square feet. Therefore, you can only depreciate for 